Isn't it awesome how you could take a setting that feels completely overly saturated in the video game market, make some cool tweaks and adjustments, and all of a sudden you have something that feels unique and fresh. As I'm sure many of you have seen a ton of first person World War games. Let's face it, it's one of the most popular settings for video games. However, imagine this, a game set in an alternate reality that's based more on World War I instead of World War II. It's third person, single player, story driven, and has more of an experience that resembles a horror game with a supernatural twist. Trench Tales, a story driven third person action game set in a dark alternate world between World War I and World War II. Harness unique powers, customize your arsenal, and navigate haunting gothic landscapes. Battle fallen soldiers as you uncover the mysteries of this realm. We play as a lone wanderer, entangled in the conflict of two brothers fighting over the throne. The story will offer a rich experience, stunning scenery, and thrilling action, providing you with an immersive adventure. Okay, so what's very interesting is one of the major factors that actually really did kick off the first world war was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. And I'm sorry, I most likely completely butchered that name. The heir to the Austro-Hungarian throne, so I'm wondering if this game will sort of kind of play off actual historical events and obviously put on an otherworldly twist on things. Either way, a fight over the throne usually results in a ton of bloodshed and horror for everyone involved, whether it's reality or a fictional setting. Bound by destiny to a world not your own, you find yourself entangled in a struggle that threatens to consume everything it touches. As the monarch's legacy teeters on the brink of collapse, you navigate treacherous landscapes haunted by the echoes of battle, seeking a way back to the reality you once knew. Yet in your quest for escape, you uncover secrets buried deep within the fabric of Vergen, secrets that may hold the key to your salvation or plug you further into the abyss. So this explains why we're a lone wanderer in this world, completely isolated, facing threats from all sides of the war. We're not even really part of this reality. We have no allies to turn to, which further expands the horror element of the game. We can uncover the lore and secrets of this world through various elements, including the aesthetics of the game. After all, scenery and atmosphere is a great storyteller, notes and items that are scattered throughout the land. In addition to the main story, we could expect to see side missions that further expand the world and story of the game. When we need a moment to recover, we go to the game's hub, which is the focal point from which we can embark on our journey. The world of Verdon is divided into different zones, each with its own unique landscape, challenges, and secrets. From eerie trenches of war to bustling villages and towering cities. So it sounds like the game's not going to be fully open world, it's more going to have a hub area and then sort of open levels, which is, I actually prefer that over open world stuff, I'm not a big fan of many open world games. The hub is where you can restock supplies, trade goods, and receive quests or simply engage in conversation with other stranded NPCs that inhabit the world. After all, before you go and adventure into this harsh reality, you're gonna want to be well prepared. The heavy SMG, which will be great when we get surrounded or overwhelmed, or to simply lay down some cover fire, most likely gonna be sort of the default weapon in the game. A shotgun, great for up close and personal encounters. I mean, after all, this is more of a World War I type of setting, so I'm sure there's going to be many moments we're in a very tight, claustrophobic environment. I mean, the game is called Trench Wars, and a carbine for when we need more of those long-range, accurate shots. There are other plans for many other weapons to appear in the game as well, such as a bolt-action sniper rifle, a flamethrower, which I hope makes it into the game. After all, it is such a badass, brutal weapon, and it really doesn't make an appearance in too many games and a light mortar. We also get access to other fun toys to play with, like sticky grenades, frags, flares, claymore mines, and molotov cocktails. However, weapons of conventional means may not be enough, so we also get access to some pretty cool powers, like artillery strikes allowing us to drop bombs on our foes, time slow basically giving us access to bullet time, teleportation, which is pretty self-explanatory, and shockwave, which we can knock back and stun our enemies. And even scent of blood, allowing us to see through walls and pinpoint enemy positions. So we have a fun of unique ways to play the game, allowing us to sort of mix up the action depending on our preferences. In fact, Trench Trails even offers customization. Different modules unlock different stats for our weapons. Want improved accuracy on long range shots? Equip the scope. Want less recoil and more stability? 
add a muzzle break to your weapon. And we're gonna need these wide range of playstyles because we're gonna encounter tons of unique and interesting adversaries. From soldiers to monstrous creatures, to powerful warlords and cunning foes. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if we see some Cthulhu type of shit in this one. That being said, I know what you're thinking. This might be too hard or Souls-like, and you may not want to be one of those hardcore balls to the wall type of players, you want a more laid back experience. We'll have no fear. This is not meant to be a soul crushing game, like we see from many from soft games. In fact, the developer has stated that while the atmosphere may remind you of a Souls title, it's more similar to something like Control, and it's going to offer difficulty settings. Speaking of the developer, this game is being made by one guy. That is right, this is a single developer project, and it's been said to be a labor of love and just made from pure passion. It's a testament of years of experience. After all, this individual has worked on such titles as Prey, Black Ops 3, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Path of Exile, and many more. So obviously this guy has some extreme talent and now has a chance to use that talent to make a passion project, which is something I like to see. After all, I think one of the key factors missing in many of these AAA modern releases is passion. It just feels like the missing piece. But I would love to hear what you all think. Let me know your thoughts about Trench Wars in the comments down below. By the way, if you made it this far and did enjoy the video, let me know by dropping a like. And if you are new, please consider subscribing. As for me, I got a ton of work to do, so I'm going to get back to the grind and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.